We counted 38 victims in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. With a 16-15-7 split, we wound up with mostly even guys and gals, with a big wedge of unknown flashback victims. This body count blows the rest of the franchise out of the water. The first five movies were pretty chill with kills, and though Leatherface had 21, this was nearly double that. I really like these franchise stats. With a breezy runtime of 74 minutes, that left us with a kill on average, more frequent than every two minutes. <laughs> Anyway, 34. Well, there were 37 deaths in Death Gas, 11 living men, 3 living women, and 23 demons of various gender, giving us a mostly evil pie chart. Fools in a confection oven of pain, fueled by the souls of unbaptized babies, and beds for an light bulb for candles. With a spelt runtime of 86 minutes, that gave us a true death gasm every 2.32 minutes. 12 people died in with the victims consisting of four women and eight men. At least DJ Uno got away, though. From Kurt, I mean. He's probably going to prison for killing that cop. With a runtime of 93 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 7.75 minutes. The numbers are filmed in front of a live studio audience. Eight people died in the mutilator. With three women and five men making up the multitudes of mutilated victims. <laughs> With a runtime of 86 minutes, that left us with a kill on average every 10.75 minutes. Freaking clowns. My list had 40 victims and killer clowns from outer space, meaning we're starting the new year with a new record. The demographics were a friggin' mess. I've got 16 men, 6 women, 4 space clowns, and 14 cocoon victims of unknown gender. With a runtime of 86 minutes, that's a kill on average every 2.15 minutes. Damn!